What's the easiest way how to create your video more interesting? This is a mixed media effect. Let's jump into After Effects. First, let's choose where we would like to add our effect and let's create a new composition. We will call it Mixed. For this tutorial, I used our animated stickers collection, which has more than 300 different and interesting drawings and 8 different categories. Also, we used our brand new premium paper toolkit, which has more than 200 different paper assets, transitions, textures, overlays, and tons of PNG files. I'll leave a link to these two projects below the video. Add PNG paper and select made for our clip using our paper. Duplicate and select blending mode to screen. On our clip, add the effect Add Grain and set the values as shown. Add Threshold effect and set level to 60. Add Fastbox Blur effect to slightly blur our grain and set the values as shown. Also add Tint effect and change the white color to any color you like. Now let's add tape, scale and place the tapes on the edges of the paper. For our background, I will use fold paper. Now let's add shake effect to our paper. Press P on the keyboard and click on the watch while holding Alt or Option if you are on Mac and write the expression as shown. Now let's parent the remaining layers to our paper so they move with it. Create a composition and name it Paper. Add drop shadow effect and set everything as shown. Now let's start adding our stickers. Add the first element and change the color using the fill effect. Then you can choose different stickers to your taste and create different variations from more than 300 different stickers. For this tutorial, I like to use inscriptions under our media and also several arrows. When we are done, we can go to the main composition and add a couple more effects. Add posterize time effect and set frame rate to 12. Create a new adjustment layer for this transition. Move two frames right and two frames to left and trim it. Now it's time to add exposure effect and set 4 in the center and 0 at the edges. duplicate and add the transition at the end. And let's add the final effect to our clip, add grain, and let's the values as shown. Here is what we got. Subscribe to us so you don't miss new and useful videos from us. Good luck!